And then those same CEOs and many others got to hear from President Obama and participate in a rare question and answer session, delving deeper into concerns about regulation and the widening wage gap. Eamon Javers has more. Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, happy holidays. Uh, hope, uh, hope sales are good. President Barack Obama met with some of the nation's top business leaders today to deliver a message that the U.S. economy is strong, and he also took a moment to encourage them to boost worker pay. Unfortunately, the overall trend lines, though, have been, even as productivity and profits go up, wages and incomes uh, as a share of overall GDP have shrunk. Uh, and, and that's part of what is creating an undertow of pessimism, despite generally good economic news. The president also pushed back on business complaints that Washington regulations are holding them back. That the, the Republicans, uh, and maybe I'd throw the BRT in here, are, are actually about 25 percent right when it comes to regulatory burden. With so many global CEOs in Washington for the business roundtable meeting, it was a day where the business community also told Washington what it wants from the nation's capital. The United States has a very uncompetitive tax structure, and if we want that capital being invested in the U.S., we need to fix the tax code. And the second is regulation, when we ask the CEOs. Uh, the, the cost of regulation is a big concern with people. I think there is actually a realistic probability of some form of tax reform. It takes a while. Uh, it's going to take a while. Uh, you know, we have... Uh, I think the concept would be has to be revenue neutral, and if, if you have that concept that it's going to have to be revenue neutral, some companies are going to have to accept they're not going to get the um, uh, some of the um, tax deductions that they previously mm -hmm. get. But despite that, what we didn't see today is the sometimes confrontational undertone that we've seen between business and the White House in the early years of the Obama presidency. Clearly, these two groups have learned to work together. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Eamon Jabbers in Washington.